auditions are closed. Time to report to the set. Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour, the Earth's Mightiest Video Podcast. So take off your pants, crack a beer, and let's talk toys. Let's talk about the X-Men Retrowave Spiral. <gasps> this, this is a character that I was going to save until last. I was going to do the entire wave individually, building up to the creme de la creme, the little icing sugar cherry on top. But you know what? I've been ragging on Marvel Legends so much recently that I want to actually just do something super positive. So I think it's time that we talk about her first. In fact, we're going to do it right now. So you can see she is displayed beautifully in her X-Men card back packaging. I was trying to get the words out there. That will always look gorgeous. And then out of the packaging, this is just a sight. Oh my goodness, so much going on here. I almost don't know where to start, but let's just dive on in, shall we? The overall just first impression. Bam! Look at this. This! This is how we do it. This is what it should be about. It should be looking at a character and not going, how cheaply can we do this? But instead going, how can we go the extra mile to really make this look the bees freaking knees, the mutts nuts. And that's what they did here, guys. And it feels so good. And this is why Marvel Legends, I can't let you go. No matter how much you hurt me, no matter how badly you betray me, no matter how badly you dig into my pockets and pull my money out of my wallet forcefully, I still can't quit you, man. I just can't quit you. Because you do stuff like this. Is it perfect? No. But man, does it show what can happen when you use your whole ass. Because very often, you use half your ass. Maybe I should start calling you half bro. Because everything seems half assed. And then you do this, and it's like both cheeks were on the seat with this one. You used your whole ass, and it looks great. So Spiral, who is she? What is she? Where does she come from? Well, a quick trip to Wikipedia. Wikipedia? <laughs> a quick trip to Wikipedia. Wikipedia, wow, that was a brain fart, will tell you that she is essentially Mojo's henchwoman. Wasn't always a six-armed crazy samurai person, though. I didn't realize that, but there you go. I educated myself. Took all of 30 seconds. It wasn't an in-depth education. But she was a human stunt woman who fell in love with Longshot, and then they went to Mojo World, and she ended up getting mind-wiped and augmented. And she's actually like, you know, she's a classic, tragic character, and not a total villain either. So that's kind of cool. I like a good, tragic backstory, and she's got one. I will remember her mostly from... Is is it Marvel vs. Cap Capcom or X-Men vs. Street Fighter? It's not Children of the Atom, I don't think, unless it is. I'm going to have to do some more research, aren't I? Dang it! You know I hate doing work for this channel. So, regardless, she's an awesome looking visual feast to the eyes. But, is she perfect? Well, let's find out. First of all, just going over the body itself, it's the new... Well, I was going to say it's the new female body, but no, there's too much new extra stuff on here to just dismiss it as being, ah, oh, it's a new female body. Nah, -ah. look at these legs to start with. Big, chunky, thick thighs with the sculpted on. Ca uh, camo, not camo, um... Combat! There you go, that's the word I was looking for. The sculpted on combat pockets on there as well, making her more unique, her own thing. Then the lovely fluffy boots, that's just like a spiral go-to. That's her sort of, not a calling card, but she's always got the fluffy boots. And then going up here, the main body is where it's more just normal, regular, new female buck. But then, hoo-ha, we got all of this going on here. You know, maybe this is the reason why Viper and the new Black Widow don't have the pinless arms, because Spiral's taken all of them. That's, that's what it is. She's like, sorry, I've got three characters worth of pinless arms here. And the actual engineering that has gone into putting these on the body, so well done, guys. A again, it, it can't be easy to put this much engineering into a small little space and have it be durable. 
because that's the big thing. The, you know, these arms can't start breaking off or anything. They have to be built to last. And they seem to be. Each one has full articulation all the way around. You can move them about, pivot them. They've got the double jointed elbows, the bicep swivel. They've got everything you need for a figure like this. That's so good. Dare I say it. Mwah! Chef's kiss. See, Hasbro, like, this is what happens. When, when you put the, the good effort in, like, model behavior is going to be singing your praises to high heavens. Don't want anyone saying like, Ooh, why do you buy Marvel Legends? You just hate them all. Nah, ah, ah. Nah, ah, ah. Not when they do good stuff like this. This is wunderbar. Absolutely wunderbar. So we've got the metallic cyborg arm here as well. That's a really nice touch. I mean, I know it's what the character should have, but it does visually, it, it, it makes it more interesting which I love, it's, it's a little bonus. Then we've got all the different swords and weapons. The katana samurai swords, I'm, I'm sure we've seen them before, but uh, maybe we haven't. Maybe these are new versions. So, you know, I can't say, but I mean, they fit the character perfectly. It's what she needs to have. And then we've got the weapons from Angela, which is great. Just mixes it up, makes it more visually appealing. Excellent, excellent. Then of course, finally, we go to the head the head and the face sculpt. And this is where it's still, don't get me wrong, this is very well done. I like it. I would have preferred more of a kind of a, sort of a glamour puss kind of a look, more of a kind of a look, but that's just, that's just, just me being me. I, I said that on the live stream and folks were right to say, well, that's not who Spiral is. She's not a femme fatale kind of character. She's a badass, get the job done kind of character. So I'm like, okay, well that's, that's fine. That's that's just my own personal preference. For the character getting it across in the action figure, they did the job. They did it, did it well. She looks like a teleporting martial arts badass. And also, I love the ruby red lips. They really stand out. And then, of course, got the plain white eyes. And this is one thing where there's been some variants, which I'll point out on a later figure, where they had the kind of the mascara around the eyes and sometimes it can look just a little bit a little bit smudged like, like she's been watching a sad film or something she's been crying and wiping her eyes this doesn't look like that i probably belabored that analogy too much and now you're thinking that she does she doesn't that's what she doesn't have i think it actually looks really nice very very smooth makes the eyes pop accentuates them in a great kind of way and then the the arched eyebrows she doesn't have a snarl a sneer which is fine because i know a lot of people do want a more neutral expression this is neutral enough to be neutral but not so neutral that it's boring or not so neutral that she looks like a plain mannequin she actually looks like she's about to tcb baby take care of business and that's what you need. And then of course you've got the wonderful Shredder samurai style helmet there. That looks absolutely great. And then another really nice touch is that her hair is made of the soft enough plastic that you can actually move her head around. She has a decent amount of rotation in her head so you can actually position her in more interesting poses than you might originally have thought because very often when the hair comes over the shoulders that means you ain't gonna get no movement. It's very very stiff whereas here you actually have that ability. One thing that's not very stiff and this is a little downside I will say not just universal praise we uh we don't do that here. She's a little gummy. The the plastic does feel quite quite gummerific. The, the the knees again. The, the, it's great having the double jointed knees and all the movement, but it does feel like a slightly cheaper kind of plastic. I'm I'm just saying that that is how it comes across to me. So I'm not tearing this figure down at all. Still really like her, but just the the joints and whatnot. It feels like rather than bending at the joints and the rotation points, it feels very often like I'm just bending the plastic. So I gotta be kind of careful not to almost like pop things out of place sometimes I feel because there's a lot of give, a, lo a lot of gummy give. And, I, and you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be fair, wouldn't be right if I did this whole review without saying that that is the case for me. But then another nice little point, her belt, her little commando belt there. It, it breaks up the very nothing going on midsection because that's another thing i will say is this a perfect figure no why because there's no ab crunch and we have gi joe figures from hasbro 
with ab crunch. We have Fortnite figures from Hasbro with ab crunch. So that's a fair point that I'm going to keep calling out until we get it. So look forward to the happy review where we have ab crunch in 2028 or thereabouts. But the belt does break up that area. And then also she's got her little gems around her, her torso here. But you know what? Paint's a bit sloppy. It's a little bit sloppy jalopy on there. They're obviously supposed to be bright yellow stones, but the paint's kind of wishy-washy. On top of the blue, it's it, it's it looks a bit more green and it's kind of overlapping. That, that's that's not great. It, it's a shame because like something like that should be the icing on the cake. And instead, it's a bit of a detraction because it's just not that great. So there's not a huge amount of paint going on here. It, it mainly is just the color of the plastic. And the bit of paint you do have on there, you didn't do too well. So that all being said, and I think you know, I've, I've gone over minor articulation, but I mean, hey, look, articulation's great. You can you can move her around till the cows come home. And when the cows come home, they're probably going to want to play with Spiral because she's great. So let's give her a grade. I'm going to start doing these grades by breaking them down into categories. So first of all, presentation in the box. That's always going to be fantastic for me. Love the card backs. Seven out of ten. Articulation. She has so many points of articulation with all of those arms, but she is lacking in the ab crunch. So therefore, I'm only going to give her a slightly above average 6 out of 10. Innovation. How much innovation and creativity has gone into making this figure? This is an easy one. Definite 7.5 out of 10. A lot of new creative work has gone into putting this together. Paintwork. Paintwork is less impressive, very basic, kind of minimal. The face is nice, but it's still only enough to really give it an average grade, I reckon. So I'll give the paintwork 5 out of 10. Then we have value for money. And value for money, even though there's a lot of innovation in this figure, I still don't think it's that great a value because Marvel Legends are expensive. Because there is some more work put into this, though, I'm going to give her a slightly above average 5.5 out of 10. And finally, how good does she look on the shelf? This is an easy one. She looks fantastic on the shelf. She gets a very solid 7 out of 10. So overall, Spiral from the X-Men Retro Wave gets a fantastic 6.3 out of 10. With a BOOM seal of model behavior. And folks, that does it for my review of Spiral. What do you think about the figure? Comment below. Let me know. And Hasbro, there you go. That is what a positive review sounds like. So great to have a single carded figure. No box sets, no builder figure pieces you have to get. Just a standalone fantastic action figure. Hoo-ha! I'm glad I did this first, because <laughs> guess who we got coming next? <laughs> We're about to go down way down. Before we do though, guys, if you want to be a part of the Model Behavior Christmas special, then you know what you gotta do. I'm, I'm currently taking uh, video, not applications, but video submissions is the word I'm looking for. I've already shouted this out on previous videos. Get in your Action Figure of the Year video to me at the email address below. It just needs to be like a 30 second clip of you saying, Hi, I'm Dave from so and so, and this is my action figure of the year. <laughs> Obviously not Avalanche, unless that happens to be the only action figure you could get your hands on this year, in which case, I love you man, more power to you. But there you go, that would be fantastic. If you can do that, I'd love to be able to include you in the Christmas special. And if you don't want to be on camera, that's absolutely fine. You can just have your hands holding the figure. But if you do the video in What's the word? Landscape. Landscape. Portrait is okay. I can still like use portrait, but landscape, you get to see everything. You get to dominate the screen. And who doesn't love dominating the screen? Well, actually, a lot of people, they actually just show their, their hands because, I don't know, maybe they're not as egotistical as I am. Go figure. Anyway, guys, get those submissions in. And also, if you go over... I was very Matt Menard there. And also, one more thing about sports... Entertainers. If you go over to the Model Behavior Facebook group, then there is a survey on there for the different Action Figure of the Year awards. So you can fill out the survey and then we can include those in the results for the Model Behavior Action Figure Awards. Whew, wow, that was exhausting. Guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep displaying Model Behavior.
Big time 